Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the headlight bulb on a Kia Rio. So let's go ahead and get started. Coming along here, you can see roughly, see if I can get a shot there. You can see the bulb behind that lens. That's your headlight bulb. High beam as well, but you can see this lens right here. The outer lens is all fogged up. If you want to see a video I did on how to restore that, that way you get it nice and clean and clear, you can check that out via the link above, also down in the description. I'll have to do this one soon as well, but not for this video. Now to access the bulb, it's very simple on this vehicle. We're going to pop the hood and there's a little panel that we unscrew and we can access it from the back, pop it out, put the new one in. Let me pop the hood and we'll take a look inside. Each side has the little panel, so let me get a close-up so you can see it. But the one that we're going to be changing in this video is on the driver's side, but passenger is the same thing. Coming in here on the driver's side, you can see this one here. That's the cap. You rotate that to the left, so you would unscrew it this way to pop it off. We come here on this side, the passenger side, same thing. Here it is this way. You would turn it to the left. I'm going to go in the vehicle. We're going to turn on the headlights so you can see what I'm talking about. So here we are. You have your parking light, your headlight. You can see that that one's out. However, high beams are working fine. But there again, you can see that the headlight on the driver's side is out. To purchase the replacement headlight bulb, you can visit any automotive parts store like Advance as shown here, AutoZone, O'Reilly, even Walmart. And you're just going to go down the headlight bulb aisle. And what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for the bulb number 9003 as shown here. You can get it in a single pack like we just saw or right here I have this double pack if you want to get two. That way you have uh, one for each side that you have your extra on hand you can get that pack as well. So as we just saw, you can purchase these anywhere, automotive stores, uh, you can also get it probably Walmart, online, things like that. I wound up going with a double pack because a lot of times when one fails, the other one's getting ready to go soon too, but it's up to you for your budget. If you just wanna get the one or the two, like we saw in the video, you can just get a single pack as well. But let's open this up. I'm gonna put some gloves on. Um, you shouldn't be handling these without gloves because of the oil from your hands. So I'm gonna put some gloves on so we can break it out and then Go ahead and change it out and then we'll test it and make sure it's working. We're going to take this off, turn it to the left. Set that off to the side. And I'm going to get the camera in here close. All it is is held on by a little tension clip that you just undo to pop it out. And then there's a little harness on the back. Looking here inside, this little black cap, that's the harness that needs to be pulled off. You can see that little wire loop that gets pushed down and around the clip to release the tension and the bulb slides out. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and then we'll be back to take another look with the harness out of the way. Just work it off slow. See it pulls off. Slide it out of the way. Let's get the camera in here so you can get a better look of what's going on now with that out of the way. So we'll push this in. Pull it around that clip, boom, comes right out. You can lift it. You want, you'll want you notice there's another metal piece on the other side. You want them both out of the way in order to get to the bulb. We'll grab one of the prongs and just slide it out this way, and it's out. And I'm not worrying about using gloves on this one. This is the bad one, but this one's out. Let's get the new one and put that in. Now for the new one, we're gonna use gloves. And you really don't need to be touching the front of it because it just slides right back in. But you will notice that there's these three tabs. The two, this is the way that you want it to go in. The two on the bottom and then the one up top. So like a triangle and then it slides in just like that. So the one up and then the two on the bottom and it goes in. Let's go in and I'll show you putting it in. We're going to slide it, just slide it straight in. And you'll notice how I put it in. This 
is in front of it coming out. You don't want to get that bar right there trapped in front of it. So you want to pull this completely up, slide that in place to the pattern that we showed, the one tab up, the two down. Now that that's in, we can come down with this, bring this down, and just as we took it off, slide it right around that clip, just like that. So now it's hooked back under there. You'll see the other bars right here. Now we can take the harness, just slide it right on. And then just push it on. Make sure it's all the way on. That's how it looks all together. So now we can put the cap back over it. Bring the cap in. I want to get it on. Match up with the grooves here. And you have that little rubber gasket. There we go. Nice and solid. Turn it to the right. Boom. That's it. Let's go in the vehicle, test it out, and make sure everything's good. Parking lights, headlights, you can see that. High beams working good, low beams working good. All right, well that wraps up this video on how to replace the headlight bulb on a Kia Rio. This particular one is a 2013 Kia Rio, but you saw how easy it was. You just take the little, uh, little panel off in the back, pop out the bulb, put the new one in, and you're done. So I hope this video was informative for you, helped you out with any projects you're working on. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.